everybody, my name is Spamos and welcome to u -Boat. Big thank you to the developers for sending us a review copy to check out. Now, I know a thing or two about U-Boats. They've got a particular set of skills when it comes to sinking ships. But coming up tonight, we're going to start with the tutorial because I don't know what I'm doing. And so, without any more stalling, let's begin! Thousands of young, brave men enlisted in the Chrysler Marine enticed by adventure and ideology motivated by fame and money. How's that fame and money working out for you? Only one in ten returned home. Their lives inspired the legend of the Sea Wolves. Welcome to the game, everybody. Is that the Sea Wolves we just saw enlisting there? Slap on the back for good luck, snore that jazz. Welcome to the game, everybody. So this is us. We're in dock and people are waiting for me. Let's not keep them waiting. The first impressions, this looks mighty fine. It's got a bit of spice to it. Wilhelm's shaven. That's how I like my Wilhelm's. Nice and shaven. Ah! There she is, everybody. Our beloved U-Boats, our silent hunter. If you were, ooh. Mighty fine deck cannon right there. Torpedoes below the water. Conning tower with aft gun. And got a life preserver because we're there to save lives as well. Gibbs, are you smoking up all my boats? You'll come to learn the antics of Gibbs and the one Mr. Bruce. More on that a little bit later. Unfold the flag. Yeah, you do. Flags away, David Peters. You're not a Gibbs. Oh, down we go. Climb on down. Look at my arms. I'm like a lumberjack. Urgh. The main control room, bridge, attack roomy thing. Hey Gibbs, can I have a go on, on the thing? There are the steering wheels. There's no windows because there isn't. Skipper's desk, open the ship's log. Hadouken! Before noon on September 1st, the transport vessel Falcon left the port of Edinburgh. We have information that a radar technology prototype had been loaded on it. Your task, if you should choose to accept it, is to find the wreckage, retrieve the equipment, and if possible, avoid being detected by the British units. We cannot be linked to the sabotage or attempts to seize the radar. Right, you are there, Ted. It's time to start the engines. Click the highlighted button to show the telegraph. Ooh, Akhtung! Master Gibbs, ahead forward! Woohoo! Look at me go, Gibbs! What have I just done? Oh no, oh no, I've messed things up. Oh god, hang on. Well, we've docked once again. We started over there and we're over here. Everybody, that's Bruce! I should explain. I am Oscar von Spamos. On board my ship, everybody is called Gibbs, because I can't be bothered to learn their names, apart from the ship's cook, because he's Bruce. And because he's a lonely sausage, all of the torpedoes are called Bruce's. And so the mighty propellers kicked into gear. Look at it go. So majestic. It's like a duck gracefully landing on a frozen lake, just sliding everywhere. This is embarrassing me. We've just started our, oh, yeah, just started our adventure. Look at you go. Could you turn? You're not turning particularly to my standards. You're, you're not entirely going sideways. That's how you turn. Oh, oh yeah, clever sausage. Return of the saw. Oh God. Oh God. Pause. Mr. Gibbs, you had one job. We've just left port. We haven't even left port yet. We're still in port. I could swear my sub's broken. It just—it's not maneuvering. Now oh, that's a pretty cool shot. Underwater and above water. Oh, I used to spend ages making screenshots like this in Sun Hunter 5. And so the mighty Gibbs takes us out towards the open waters as long as somebody opens the gates. It's opening! And it's just missing. It's like it was planned that way. Oh, we're going to crash. Watch your bottom and a little love bump. Just a little love bump. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Well, there we have it, everybody. Open sea. Waves crashing over the U-boat's bow. Oh, ignore the yellow green dots, because they're not yellow, they're green. How can I go back to being me, please? I don't want to be this camera anymore. I've forgotten how to get here. 
All right, I'm back in control. Find and discipline the sailors that don't do their duties and restock food in the galley. I am the skipper, I'm the captain. Why am I doing the food restocking? No, no, go up the conning tower. Oh, oh. I want to see the ocean with my own eyes. Captain on bridge or deck. Hi, deck. This is me, I'm, I'm captain. That is wicked cool. I love it. Oh, I love it. Let's take this down. Go away. High flag. <laughs> I'm gonna step down. Yeah, climb down. 100% would not do this in real life. Yet yeah, running to the tip of the boat, nothing could possibly go wrong doing this. Look at that! <laughs> Game engines nowadays just nail water. Water is like a thing that is done. It's like we don't have to develop water anymore. We've got it nailed. I found a gun, everybody. That's a bit lackluster. It's like the gun doesn't move, just a little bit of popcorn comes out. <laughs> Right, let's go take care of business. Right, who's being the naughty sausage? Oh, open that up. I saw that. Naughty sailor. What are you doing back there? Gibbs, you can't hide from me. It's a bloody submarine. It looks like Gibbs has been sleeping on duty. What should we do to punish him? Give him a warning. Have him scrub the toilets. Arrest him or execute him. Day one on the new submarine. Cruise fantastic. Apart from that one, Gibbs had to murder him because he slept to the toilets. There's only one toilet on board for every single sailor, so it's gonna be a stinky ordeal. Did anybody see where the toilet is? Oh boy, am I busting to go. Oh, oh there it is. It's a bit dark and a little bit dank, but I can close the door and I can have a... That's business taken care of. Just got to get to our destination. And with that, a wolfy muck U-boat face moved closer to our destination in search of the sunken boat from Edinburgh with the radar technology on board. Right, we've got something coming up on the horizon. I don't think they're waves. We saw the mast of a warship on the horizon. It's definitely British. We need to hurry. I'm trying to, but you keep stopping me. For God's sakes. Right, I'm playing as somebody else now, and they want me to put a diving suit on him. Right, your cupboards. Open your storage box. Yeah, diving suit. Yeah, you do. Oh, wait, do I actually get to go underwater? Oh, please tell me I get to do it, because I would love that. That would be amazing. Investigate the wreck. There he goes. Come on, you got this. Whee! Okay, this is epic. So we're following the dude underwater. It's nearly 60% there. I can see the wreckage appearing already. Oh, this is all kinds of awesome. I didn't know they had wreck diving in this. Now, do I get to walk around? That would be a Brucey bonus. On the bottom lies the wreck of the Falcon. What would you like to do? Pull up the large boxes, man. Why does it do that? Oh, you're down there. Now you're up here. I think my guy's still down there. The rope's there still. Imagine like you're on the bottom. And like a warship just arrives and the sub just has to go and they just kind of cut you off and go away and you're like <laughs> how's it going bruce you enjoying that cheese i see you've got a fantastic really healthy looking banana there skipper you need to see this immediately damn they declared war on us call her fast cut out summer or we all are done no, cut the rope with the diver, but I don't know. I literally, like, I spoke about this. Oh, there's a red light on the horizon. That's the destroyer coming. I'm so sorry, diver. Oh, that's so horrible. You've just left him on the bottom of the city. Oh, they're shooting at us. Uh, flood the ballast tanks and dive. I'm not, I'm not inside. Faster, you. Wait. faster. Yeah, come on, down, 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 Move. below, come close on, to that, quickly. get down. No, no, go, 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 move! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Get down, down, down. Close the hatch, hatch close. Close that hatch. Hey, hatch closed. Um, crash dive, please. Gibbs! Oh my god, do I think of myself? Yeah, you do, flooding tanks. Percentage chat, pretty. Look at him go, he's determined. Smelly British! Oh! You think you're gonna be all smart and clever for with your we have top rule? Yeah, well, we're crash diving, say. So. <laughs> Uh, all the lighting's changed. I like this. Are we going clubbing? Whoa! We can hear the propellers. Should we stop all engines? What a shit! The depth charging. The hull has been breached. Uh, fast. Press the spacebar button on the keyboard. That pauses life. 
Oh yeah, make the text smaller, why don't you? I haven't got my glasses on. There are two leaks on board. One is serious, but the other is smaller and won't be a problem until we go to d lower depth. I don't see any way to save the aft compartments. Move the camera to the aft part of the boat and click the highlighted evacuation buttons. Oh goody! We're evacuating the aft compartments and we're gonna be closing the hatches. Uh, blow the ballast tanks and surface. But the British, the, the British, the bloody British should be up there. Oh, oh, water's coming in. We've got a new leak, sir. That was cool. It's still going down. If I close the door again. And now I'm, I'm drowning. <laughs> I should stop going in there, but I quite like opening doors to flooded rooms. You see the water dropping down and everything. That's amazing. I love how there's like water physics. It's clever. Now this one's flooding up. Okay, engines are gonna... No, 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 no. Keep engines above water. That's what my mother always told me. Blow the tanks! Emergency service! That is what I call lift, everybody. 58 meters and rising. We're gonna be okay. Boom. Okay, it's a turn on the air. Yes, it's alive! So, my torch keeps turning off. So the water's going down. Here we go. Shoot down the air. What aircraft? Ah, things go from worse to worse. Here it comes. Light them up, sweet cheeks. I waited a long time for... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm out of ammo. Reload, reload. No, it's my... No! Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do that. Why don't you? Woo! Yes, yes, yes. Yes! That aircraft flew too fast after our boat we detected by the destroyer. There has to be an aircraft carrier nearby. Oh, there's a dead airplane in the sky. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, it's on fire! There was a hydrophone mounted on the boat. If the aircraft carrier is moving, we may be able to detect it. That's an exciting moment, and the game is all... No, this could do something else. But it's crashing. Don't care. Giving it a good old polish before you go, you know, just to make sure... You know, from, from us with love. There we go. It slides inside. Just, just going deep. Going all the way in there. We're not stopping. We're going all night long. There's the, the booty end sliding up. Two there you one. go. Load. More tubes! Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that was, oh, that's deep water. I'm not happy about that. <laughs> that's how people die. Remember that one dude where we sent to the bottom of the ocean and then left him there? Whoops. Right, we're in range of our target now to fire. Okay, Put flooding, two, two. flooding. All of them are flooded. Kind of wish it was daytime, but here's our target. Big old... Oh. <sighs> Mr. Gibbs, fire torpedo! We just fired four torpedoes, apparently. That might be overkill. I did literally zero aiming. I just told them to get it done, and get it done they did, apparently. Here we go, everybody. Ten seconds to impact. Any seconds now. Whoa! Oh, there's a Brucey bonus in the board side, indeedy! Oh, there's more coming in! I forgot we have more. Oh, there's another one! And then one more. Wow, that, that. A boat just uh, evacuated. <laughs> Oh, they're sinking! It's over! The ringing of the alarm bells uh, on the escort is heard. It's only a matter of time before they detect us. Okay, but I'm enjoying the moment. Could you not, please? Right, we're crash driving. Can I get back to my lovely view of the boat sinking, please? Oh my god, stop teaching me things! Go away. Right, we're back, and it is definitely going down. Oh, it's going full Titanic b backwards. That's what you get when you mess with Oscar on Spammels! It just disappeared! Really, game? Really? Let me tell you something. What's really fun about these kind of games is sinking ships, watching them sink, and then marveling about you that you sank a ship. But all you've done so far is make ships disappear, and whenever cool stuff's happening, you make me go and do menial tasks over here. Like, it's sinking! But there's Valve! Oh! Unfortunately, we have to stop here. You will be able to learn about the further fate of the crew in one of the upcoming updates. If you wish to keep playing, we suggest you choose sandbox mode from the main menu. And with that, we're back at the main menu. So that was the tutorial of U-Boat. 
it was a bloody long tutorial. I feel like I should play a little bit off camera so I can get more comfortable with the controls. I'm 50-50 on this so far. I'm loving the visuals. The U-boat's beautiful. Walking around it, interacting with things, it is very, very beautiful. Love it. The ocean is amazing. Weather, amazing. Great. Enemy ships, they look fantastic. Things I don't like. Several times throughout this tutorial, I got stuck because like, it's like, go do this. And the thing it told me to do didn't exist. But early access, it's, it's okay. It's not a bug, it's a feature. But the biggest thing of all was when I'm trying to watch cool stuff happen, it was telling me to go do boring stuff. And then when I'm watching a ship sink, it disappears. That's a big no-no in this game. That's the 100% thing that it should not happen. And the absolute most of all, I want my f camera to be free so I can put it wherever I want. So if I hit a ship with one of my torpedoes, I can get right up there in the damage zone and see what I did. I want full cinematic control of orbiting that sinking ship so I can really enjoy that moment because that is 100% what made Silent Hunter 5 so very fun. And there's no denying that like, this game is like a, a spiritual successor to that. It feels very similar in a lot of ways, but much more modern in a lot of ways. Maybe things will be different in Sandbox, so we'll have to come back and have another try. That's that. Anyway, this has been you, Bo. I love your faces. Calling it an episode there. Did you enjoy yourself? If you did, leave a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. And while you're at it, follow me on Twitter and tell me something about something. I'm losing my voice. On that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.